something you might not have seen before. It's the Sony NT digital micro tape, a format from the early 1990s, a period when Sony did a lot of experimenting with different formats, some that took off, some that didn't. This is one of the latter, unfortunately, but it's not without its charms. The tape is absolutely tiny. It's a miracle of miniaturization. You can fit 120 minutes of digital audio on this tape. It looks a lot like a dictaphone tape, quite a lot smaller though, and it uses technology that's quite a bit more advanced. It's based on the DAT format. So it's got a rotating recording and playhead. The mechanism that the tape uses for loading into the machine is a bit simplified compared to the DAT. So they've learned some lessons from DAT and applied it to this tape, but obviously the audio quality isn't going to be as good. The machine that it plays on is this Sony NT2. It's a nice looking machine, but it's a bit of a letdown when you compare it to the tape. It's not as exciting as you can see there's a model number on the side. It's an all metal body device. It's actually very nicely put together. I really like this little eject lever, which has a two position thing. You can just open the door or the mechanism inside it. We'll just put a tape in to show you what that looks like. It goes in much the same way that you put a tape in a camcorder. I suppose that's the most familiar thing that most people have seen with a mechanism like this. It's got soft touch controls for each way play, stop, rewind, fast forward. On the top, we've got a headphone socket with a weird port next to that, and that's because it's supposed to come with headphones with an inline remote. I got mine secondhand off eBay. Didn't come with that, but that's what that looks like. Uh, that hole there is for a stereo microphone. Again, I haven't got that one. Uh, and next to that little hole is a hole button just to stop those buttons being pressed while it's in your pocket. Line in and out are analog only, no digital in or out on this device. That's your each way play selector, and down the bottom is where the power goes in. On the back here, it holds a button cell because it keeps a continuous record of the time and date. The actual device itself is powered off a double A battery, a single double A, which will give you five hours of recording or three hours of playback. Yes, I did say those in the right order. If you look for information about the NT cassette, there's very little out there. The Wikipedia entry just mentions it was a digital memo recording system. And whilst it was, I think Sony intended it to be so much more than that. This particular device, yeah, it's a digital memo recorder, but the specifications seem to indicate that they had intentions of this being more of a music format. I mean, look at the specs, they're way overkill just for someone recording speech on one of these devices. If you look in the instructions, it does mention that they intend it as one of the next generation tape recorders with digital hi-fi stereo sound. And do you really need an inline remote control if you're just listening to uh, Take a Memo, Mrs. Jones, on your voice recorder? And do you need bass boost either? Not something I'd put on a voice recorder. And when you're setting it to record, you can choose between speech and music. So let's have a break for a second and listen to some music from the NT2. particularly neat trick is the fact that when you reach the end of one side of the tape it'll jump to the other side completely seamlessly. Just look what happens when it gets to 1 hour, 1 minute and 45 seconds. Now this particular recorder used to be the property of the police and you can see why seamless recording would be a very important feature for them when conducting an interview. And when you combine that with a time and date stamp on each recording, you can see why they'd pay out for a piece of equipment like this. The Sony NT cassette comes from that curious and charming technological period when we couldn't afford to store digital recordings on solid state memory, so we were still using mechanical magnetic tapes. Perhaps somewhere in an alternate reality, the Sony NT tape actually took off, and people are listening to their music on devices like this. But for better or worse, in this reality, the cassette tape is very much a thing of the past. But I hope you've enjoyed looking at this tiny little piece of history. Anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.